I live kind of in hell. I mean, that's, I'll be honest, you know, my, my daily life is kind of and I'm alone and, sorry, I keep cussing. It's, it's very right. hard. I'm a, I'm a cusser these days. <laughs> okay. Big time You're cusser. loud. And Christina! Little allowances, giving herself grace, all a part of Christina Applegate's new reality, living with multiple sclerosis, for the actress beloved since her role on Married with Children. Do you think that for one second I'm gonna stay here and study when I'm just a paternity suit away from Jamaica? <laughs> she has been quietly coping out of the spotlight. Right now I'm isolating, and that's kind of how I'm dealing with it, is by like not going anywhere because I don't want to do it. It's hard. This year, she's stepping out again ahead of a new podcast after having Hollywood on their feet for her at this year's Emmys. You can't have one without the... Were you able to take in the moment, the standing ovation and everything? I actually kind of blacked out, um, and I, people said, oh, you were so funny, and I'm like, I don't even know what I said. You're totally shaming me with disability by standing up. It's fine. Okay. Um... <laughs> <laughs> and now, sitting beside Applegate as we spoke and holding her hand the entire time, Jamie Lynn Sigler, best known for her role as Meadow in The Sopranos. Dad, how come you didn't finish college? I had that semester and a half at Seton Hall. And I was so happy for her moment at the Emmys because I'm like, please, just remember how great you are. But also respect what she's going through because She's also just been through a lot. What they're both going through, MS, a degenerative autoimmune disease. Now they're teaming up and sharing their story each week like never before. You're really eavesdropping on an intimate conversation. You're also listening to a podcast of like two women that are really being there for each other and getting to know each other. For more than 40 years, Christina Applegate has starred in some of America's favorite film and TV shows, from Married with Children to Anchorman. I said, your hair looks stupid. And most recently, Dead to Me. What was I supposed to say to him? I'm sorry my son sweetly gave you the bird that I used to kill your brother. When you were diagnosed, you were in the middle of your show. My symptoms had started in the early part of 2021, and it was like literally just tingling on my toes. And by the time we started shooting in the summer of that same year, I was being brought to set in a wheelchair, and then I needed someone to help. Sorry, I needed someone to help me to get there. Sorry. Jamie received her diagnosis at age 20 in the midst of filming The Sopranos. But for more than 15 years, she kept her MS a secret. My focus was when I worked was getting through the day and not being found out. I didn't feel important enough or valued enough that anybody would still want me. But now I'm at this place where like the next thing I do, I don't want to hide this. Like why can't I just be no, me you, in this body? It was torture. It, you were tortured by doing that. Yeah, I because it you. makes you feel like something's <laughs> wrong. And there's nothing wrong with me. I'm not broken. MS is a disease with no cure, but a strong community, bringing the two women together. How have you all helped each other? I mean, and just seeing you right now, how you are together. I mean, how? She's doing this because I have the, the tremor, so she's Well, also because I love her. But yeah. Yeah. Having somebody to talk to about the intimate details of this disease and like what you're dealing with was, I didn't realize how badly I needed that. She keeps me going. And, and if not for her, I don't, really honestly don't know. Mm. And now, the two women gearing up for the launch of their new podcast, Messy, about their public journeys with MS. We're messy, life is messy, and so, you know, it, there was no other name for this no. podcast. But and that. also, and has, M yeah. and S are in it. But even with someone to lean on, MS can be especially challenging. Symptoms can include trouble with coordination, speech difficulty, vision loss, and even paralysis. You I, have to I gained 40 pounds when I got sick, 40. Like little tiny Christina Applegate was like all of a sudden just like Jabba. You know? How'd you I mean, deal like, with that? Because you've been- I really, It's really sucked. I was really upset. Oh, I didn't want to go anywhere. And I still, you know, I'm still dealing with that, but it's, you know, it's not a weight thing, but it's just, I don't feel, I was, I'm not comfortable because it's not me. I like the person that I've been for 50 years. Are you still in a grieving process? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not putting a, time stamp on it. As heartbreaking as it is to struggle physically, it's given me a perspective and an appreciation um, 
that I just know I wouldn't possess without it. My hopes for her and for us through this journey, especially with this podcast, is that people can witness two people trying to figure that out. As the pair proclaim at the end yeah. of each podcast episode, right, well, I love right. you. and so it is. And so it is, guys. And so it is. You know, I've been playing a character called Christina for 40 years. This is, I, it's kind of my coming out party. Yeah. Like, this is who, this is the person I've been this whole time. This time After we you know? recorded our first episode and we listened to it, the first thing I did was call her. And I was like, I am so excited for people to get to know this Christina. Well, Christina Applegate, it's nice to finally meet you. <laughs> Again. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Nice to finally, to finally meet you. Yeah. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.